Hello again, everyone. I'm Jesse from the Annapolis Valley Chamber of Commerce, and I've got Teresa from the Greenwood Animal Hospital here to speak with us today. Um, so Teresa, many people in the Valley have pets or several pets, um, and some may need care. So I've wondered how the veterinarians are conducting business. Um, like how have you been working with the animals and their owners and how is that going for you so far? Oh, okay. Um, we've changed a lot of stuff over the last two weeks. And since that state of emergency is continuing on for two more weeks and possibly indefinitely, um, we have shortened our hours. We are okay. only available from nine to five um, and nine to three on Saturdays. Okay. Um, our, our doors are locked. Um, so people are expected to call from the parking lot and let us know that they're there. Um, okay. We are trying to avoid letting anyone into the clinic. Um, so we'll send someone out to get the animal um, right. on the car and then bring it right into the clinic. Bring it in. Okay. Gotcha. Perfect. Yeah. If you need um, food or drugs and so on, just call and then the girls will run it out to the car as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. So everybody yeah. has limited exposure. Right. Okay. Yeah. Keeping your staff safe for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So um, now we have obviously all been faced with those changes um, for in our work life these last couple of weeks. Uh, so what has been your biggest challenge for you and your business? I guess uh, for us, I mean, we're so dedicated to the health and care of animals overall. It was hard to let go of non-essential um, of that care, such as vaccines, um, spays and neuters. We can't do any of those during this state of emergency uh, okay. to discourage people from leaving their homes um, for less than urgent needs. Right. Um, so that, that was probably the hardest thing. Yeah, I bet. Uh, is to reduce our care for the animals to just emergency situations. Right. Yeah. 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 And your connection with your staff, is that, uh, um, has that been a struggle at all or? Oh, no. My staff is absolutely amazing. They okay. have volunteered uh, into two teams. Um, we work okay. two day shifts. So that nobody gets too tired and um yeah everybody is, right. is up there for the animals awesome that's great okay so aside from those challenges um is there anything um positive or any good things that have come out of this i guess one of the things is that um you know how the team has pulled together um right. the clients are absolutely amazing and understanding um you know no one is like i think you're overreacting everybody is on board with staying safe that's good um, we we do have one question uh people keep asking about you know this coronavirus and cats and ferrets and right. what we recommend is if somebody is sick you know stay away from their own pets okay um, and that way we shouldn't have to worry about such things Right. Yeah. We don't want to get our pets sick as well. Right. Yeah. That's right. It's, it's unclear and it's safer yeah. just to avoid. Yeah. Them. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Good. Okay. So um, last thing, is there anything that pet owners can do for you or is there anything else that you'd like to share with us before we go? I guess the main thing is for everybody to stay safe. Um, we might be doing home deliveries of products in the future, depending on how things go in the area. Okay. Um, because a lot of people don't want to leave their home right now, um, even, even with our system where they don't actually see anyone, um, this may be uh, in the future for sure. Okay, that could be a, yeah. a future option then. That's great to know. That's right, yeah. Perfect. So, um, with that being said, do you have a Facebook page or anything like that where you might be posting that or anything or? Oh, that's, that's right. Yeah. All our updated hours and so on are on our Facebook page. Okay. Um, it's, uh, and like us there for sure. That way. Yeah. And we have tips and, and so on about the virus as well. In okay. Relationship with animals. Yeah. Okay, great. That's great. Perfect. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Um, these are all great points and I wish you and your staff all the best. Okay, and yeah, you. yeah. And I hope the animals out there stay nice and healthy and everything that's, like that. And that's yeah. Right. yeah. All right. Well, that's perfect. Thanks again, Teresa. 
Okay, thank you. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.